Hey YouTube, want to come real quick and show y'all what I have done to my hair. It is a wash and go. And it is looking pretty good so far. Um, of course I have to wait for it to dry. So of course my, the waves that we see now are going to turn into little spiral curls. Um, so I have been doing the wash and go method, that Taryn Guy's um, salon series for kinky hair. I've been applying products to soak and wet hair and um, I've really seen the difference. Um, as you can see, it really does help. And when I say soak and wet hair, if my hair, um, my hair is real cottony. So uh, once it starts to dry, it starts kind of looking cottony and like a spongy kind of look and that's when I know I just dip my head in a sink and just add water so that basically it's dripping and then I add the product. I really have seen the difference in my wash and go. The only thing is with kinkier hair we have to do these wash and goes every two to three days but what I've noticed is that the more that I do the wash and goes the more that my hair is easier to wash and go because um, once I do a wash and go after maybe the first day I'll just slick it back a little bit and then after the second day I'll maybe wear it in a puff and then I'll start over so my max is three days with my wash and goes um, but I have liked this method of doing the wash and go. I am not really a wash and go type of person but I've lately um, like them and I'm on vacation right now so um, I needed something quick and easy to do and where I wouldn't have to bring a lot of products with me and this has been my method that I have used. I wanted to show y'all uh, what it looks like. So yeah look at that. That's some good definition. My hair is growing back. <laughs> It's really, really pretty. Hey YouTube, wanted to come back and show y'all what my hair looks like when it dries from a wash and go. And this is basically what my hair turns into. It turns into like an afro and like tiny, tiny coils all over. Um, my hair is probably about 85% dry, but this is the way that it looks. Um, as you can see, the back coils all the way up, <laughs> and I like it. This is the way I like for my wash and goes to look. I mean, look, once you realize what your hair does, your specific hair does with a wash and go, you will really start to enjoy um, wearing wash and goes. I know my hair is not going to wave up and be all down the side of my face and coil in big old bunches of ringlets. I already know that. I know my hair is going to turn into like a curly afro and I like it like this. Um, you know, sometimes I'll wear it like this and people make a comment like, um, is that the way you're going to wear your hair? And yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, once you figure out what your hair does, you're going to love it. Um, uh, I've been playing with my hair a long, long time, and I know that this is what my wash and go does. Um, it just turns into a cute little shrunken fro. But the reason why I like wash and goes is because they are easy and you can jump in the shower and jump out and um, run the product through your hair and just let it air dry and it's a really easy and fast style for me. Um, I don't have to do a lot of twisting and parting and sectioning and all that. I just run the product through and I have me a cute little curly fro. All right, I just wanted to come back and show y'all the dry product and show y'all that this is the way it looks and that is it. All right, bye.